Okay, welcome to the first main episode, I suppose, of Oryx MVP. So, the entire principle of this uh, pattern, this architectural pattern, is built on top of the concept of leaving the activity out of it. So this is what we have essentially for our activity. It's this main activity where it launches when the app launches and we have our set content view and then in here we get all our views and stuff like that. And then this got out of hand very quick because it was just daft to have all this stuff in here. So in order to fix that we switch to MVP where we have the main activity is a view and this would extend our app compat activity implements main view then we take then we use dagger to create an instance of our presenter pass our presenter in here up here so we'd have our at inject annotation and then we'd have to have the presenter and then sometimes have the presenter being generic and all this other crap and essentially we end up in this issue where we have the presenter and the view the view is called the presenter and it just causes this big fat mess and it just doesn't work in my opinion i've never had it work and the biggest thing I can point and the biggest problem I can point at is where do intent arguments go? They have to be passed that the view has passing the data arguments to the presenter. The view is just this big confusion. We've basically taken like half the code out activity and shoved it in another class. And then we're just like wiring it together and we've just made a mess of it. So let's fix it. Let's make our main activity. Okay, so the idea of this system basically takes the entire activity and moves it outside the architecture altogether. And you'll see how that works when we create our three parts, our model, our view, and our presenter. And that's what we're going to do now. So this is our main activity. Actually, I really should have a toolbar in here. Got to have a toolbar. Uh, match parent, Android hide, question mark, A, T, T, or, slash action bar size okay that's our toolbar and then we're going to android id uh, app plus id slash dot main there we go great this didn't actually say android i had all ids and set i'm sure i had ids set beforehand anywho uh, we're going to have btn standing for button, button, uh, username, lookup, okay? And up here we should have edit text, or I just call them edit username, okay? So there's our three things we need to search for. This actually can be closed off with a better tag. So let's go to our package structure. Actually, I didn't go over the package structure um, for this. Basically, we have these activity and activities package or a screens package or whatever you want to call it. And then we have home. So this is our home screen. We've got our dagger package, which contains the dagger classes. And then we've got our MVP package, which will contain our actual MVP code. And then sitting outside of these two packages, we have our activity itself. This is the same for everything. So we have the uh, GitHub application. So this is the app. We have our dagger for our app, our application. And then anything else that goes at the app level sits in here. So here's our network package and all that. Then we have our EXT, which is our extensions, our utilities. So these are just things that don't really fit anywhere. So let's create our view. And the entire principle of this really is based on the fact that we can separate our view into what's called a compound view. So we're going to write main uh, view. So this is our main activity, view. Actually, we'll make it main activity view. And I should have a T there. Our super class will be a frame layout. Add the class. And uh, we're good to go. Okay. So we're going to add in our uh, constructor. So it's just a standard thing. We extend the layout to compound view. We're going to add in one constructor and we're going to change this to be a main activity. Okay. Great. So this is our view, okay? Then what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, what we need to do. We're going to say we're going to need our uh, what's it? Our edit text. Edit text. Username. 
edit text. And then because we're using butter knife, we're going to use at bind view uh, or dot id dot uh, edit text edit username. We're going to duplicate this. Uh, we're going to change this to a button. We're going to have username lookup lop. I don't even know what that is. Really didn't read it because I almost forgot how to spell that. And then in here, we're going to do our uh, butter knife dot bind this. So that will bind. Uh, basically, it's a library. If you don't know what butter knife does, it replaces the idea of find view by ID. You put these annotations on, you call bind job done. Great. So this is all well and good. Actually, we should bind our toolbar as well while we're here. Main toolbar. Okay. Brilliant. Got all that sorted. So this is our views constructor itself. So let's um let's get this inside our activity. So we're going to up here, we're going to create our main activity view. Main activity view, we just call it view actually. And then we just set it here. Now, we're using Dagger for dependency injection, so we need to set up dependency injection. So we're going to call that inject. At inject, that's fine. So in the module for this class, then we're going to create this. So I've already created a module here, which has the activity being passed in in the constructor, which is what we want. And we've already created our scope. If you, have, if you don't know about Dagger uh, 2, custom scopes, modules, multiple components, stuff like that, Go watch my video series on Dagger 2. So we're going to have to do an at provides uh, at home scope. And then we're going to say public main activity view. And we're just going to call this view. And we're going to return new main activity view and our activity. The type was wrong. So that's that done. So now this is ready to be injected directly, but we have to do our injection code. So we need to say, before we can set the content view, before anything happens, we need to say dagger, oh, brilliant. Is this annotated? Yes, it is. Oh, home component, oh, it only provides context. Oh, great, hang on. I didn't have this set up right, uh, public. Void inject home main activity main activity. There we go. Okay. So let us set this up. Somehow I don't have this set up right. So this is a the wrong scope. So I need to actually say uh, home module here. Not app module. I do, don't even know what was going on there. And you can see we have a dependency in our app component. So now we just say dagger home component dot builder dot app component. Then we have a GitHub application dot get this dot component dot home module. We need to pass our home module so we can pass our activity reference dot build dot inject this. Boom, you can tell I've done this a lot. <laughs> I've written hundreds of these screens and they always work out great. So that's our dagger stuff ready to go. And that's our view setup. So now if we run this application, oh, uh, the Android SDK our thing's gonna do that. So we're just gonna suppress our view constructor for lint because we only want one constructor. This means that we have control over the views constructor, which is really cool because we can now use that to inject stuff into our views, things like Picasso instances and stuff like that, which we'll get to when we get to list views. But this is great. We've got most of this already done. And we've got our view ready to go, which should show up what we want to show. So as a matter of fact, I realized that this has some padding I want to get rid of because otherwise the toolbar will look strange. And it's got gravity center. That'll look weird. Eh, 
what can you do? So, the toolbar, actually, no, I won't do that. I'll just keep things at the top. So, let's get this to run. And do I have Jenny Motion installed? I do not have Jenny Motion. We need an AVD. So, I'm going to boot pause the video and we'll boot that up. Okay, before we actually run the thing, we need to inflate our view. So, something I kind of forgot to do. So, we need to inflate, uh, get context, or dot layout dot activity main this okay and then we should be able to just run this and have it work so i'll just bring up the phone now no need to look at that i totally didn't forget try and run it and it crashed okay so here we go we have our rx mvp we have our button we have our toolbar and we have our edit text that which you can type into now one thing i've actually done is i've uh, told it to Prefill. So if you look at our file, it says uh, text at string twisted equations. That's because we're going to be using this a lot and I'm not going to want to type it in every goddamn time. So that's it for our view. So we've got our view to do to do stuff. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to create our presenter and then join the views to the presenter. And we're going to have things so when the button is clicked, we'll be able to have make it just well, it'll just be logging or showing toasts for now. Then the third part would be connecting it to a network and filling in all the blanks. So that's the next video, guys.